Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to do a special effect in um, Final Cut Pro uh, where we do a kind of a film strip effect. So here we start off zoomed and we have this mosaic window thing without any plugins or anything. So um, I'll show you how to do that uh, very shortly. Right ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm about the third time I'm filming this, but hey, you don't need to know that. You're just here to see the the end result aren't you which is awesome here it is ah coffee it's good to have a screen uh sort of a video film strip effect um running off the page you're taking if you need to think of um this individual frame being duplicated vertically or up and down i have a frame here already which is just a, a standard video frame i've added a subtle bad tv in this case and i've taken a a shape mask and just around the edges. You don't really need to know, but it just looks a bit better. You can do that to taste. We need to decide how many of these frames we want duplicated vertically. If I want five frames, um, you need to zoom the the frames to 20%. 20 times five is 100% zoom. I want to try eight in my case, which is 12 point. Let's get the, the maths if you like. 100% divided by eight equals 12.5. What we'll do is we'll take this frame, scale it by uh, 12 to 12.5%. This means that we can take this and duplicate it that many times. Now there is maths um, to work out where the the start is because I want to put the, the first clip here and move it up. But um, I'm just going to eyeball this. You can hold, um, you can use your mouse and you hold the shift key down and it'll restrain it within that, that thing. And I'm just going to put it at the bottom. We're, we're, we're going for good enough at the moment so we want to duplicate this eight times up the page so what we're going to do is take this strip and make eight copies of it i've already if you like preferences you can zoom out your strip size too small important that you move your playhead to the front each time you copy so i'm going to command c to copy but i'm going to use option v to paste and option v paste as collect connected strip basically move my play to the beginning every time uh, so uh, that's uh, well should I move this yes let's move this now this may end up being a bit funny but um, you get the picture I'm just duplicating so I'll go ahead and do that and hopefully this will fast forward for you Let me have another sip of coffee. Okay, so if we take a look at this, as it is it's pretty boring. You just see um, them playing, you know, the the, the, the things. But what we want to do is, is like a staggered effect going up the page. And to do that, you just basically offset each of these strips by a few frames. So to to stagger these, um, we take all of them because I want to sort of stagger them in a cascading way. If you go to the period key on your keyboard or the the angled bracket facing to your right um, you can move them up and down by one frame or two frames I think I'm going to go for about three frames this time so let's go one two three hopefully that's okay we'll try it and we'll select all the other keys all, all the other frames except one one two three um, and again one two three and again one two three and again one two three one two three and one two three so there you go you can see the staggered effect that makes it look a bit better let's just see how that looks so i don't like the the fact that it's taking so long between the transitions to go up i don't like that slow effect i want it to be a bit closer um so let's just select them all i will move them back let's try two frames back so now the comma key one two so this you just need to taste Again, just uh, selecting all but the previous one. I'm not sure that I select that last one. Oh, one, two. Hopefully, I did it right. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, let's try that again. Let me just see if this will probably help. If I look at the frames, and um, they should be equal. Yeah, that's fine. So let's look at the playback. Should look beautiful. 
Yep, that's what I'm after. So it looks like the frame is sort of going up the page as it plays. Good. The next thing to be need to do is try and get them in a more manageable state. This is just one clip. Um, I want to have this one, another one here of a different size, another one to fill up the whole page. So to make that manageable, we take all of these clips and we make it into a new compound clip. So this is going to be um, camp, campfire 8 high. So 8 frames high campfire just for future reference. And there I have one compound clip which makes it a lot easier to manage. Okay, so um, that's cool. I'm going to go and do some others. I'll probably put fast forward, but I'm going to try and make um, a few more clips so that we can fill up the whole page and then we'll carry on. Thank you. I like it. Um, compound clip. Um, I've got a very short clip this time around, so I'm going to do something a little different. I think what I'm going to do is um, duplicate this so that it loops around a few times. So let's copy that. And let's take a look at how that looks. Looks beautiful. Well done, Opa. Perfect. Cool. So there's another, another, another one of those. Once more, grab new compound clip. Looking good. You surrender. Grab all the frames. Right click new compound clip. School Emily six I. Done. So here are my clips. You can see them all here. Beautiful. Various heights, etc. Um, so what I want to do, just to, to quickly explain, is um, I want to take all of these and just lay them out in on the frame, uh, maybe even over the frame a bit, depending on how, how we go, um, sort of next to each other as I would like. But I'm not going to attempt to do any movement of them. Um, maybe one of these I will move up the page because it was a little bit, bit of a fix, but I'll show you how we go there. All we're doing is we're just going to take all of these, put them on the timeline stacked and um, go from there. So I'll plonk that down as the main one. Um, what I'm doing here, I'm not actually zooming, so I just want to lay them out. Sorry about the whistle in the background, father-in-law. Uh, here he is here, just lay, lay this out then. The next one here, just put them more or less together. We'll sync them up later. Um, transform, move this one over to the side here, this side, something like that. Zoom these. Okay, that's all right. okay for now. Um, what I want to do is move. I want to animate this um, this one by itself, like move it down the page um, so that it looks like it's actually um, skipping its sync, as I've mentioned earlier. But what I want to do first is I just want to make sure that I've got all my um, get to a point where all the frames are showing. Keyframe, add. I could have done it here, but that's okay. Go to the mark up there, and I'll just drag that down. So and that should be done. Let me just play that. So it should look pleasing to the eye, hopefully. So there it is, kind of on the side. Rotating. That's okay. It looks like it's out of sync, which is good. Cool. Okay, let's just uh, lay it there. Um, so what I want to do now is um, I want to start off zoomed in on one of these frames here, 
and I want to sort of zoom across here and then zoom out and see the whole picture. To do that, I'm taking, once again, taking all of these compound clips and putting them into one compound clip. So let's do that. New compound clip. Master clip. For want of a better name. Cool. So now we have one big clip. Um, somewhere over here at the beginning, I want to let it roll in for a little bit. Say hi, maybe. Then at this point, I'll put a keyframe in for the thing. So I want to first of all zoom in to a frame right so we are now fully zoomed in on the one frame I'm interested in position yes please and I want a scale keyframe right there cool so let's play a little bit in so at that point I want to have the same keyframe so I'm going to open up the keyframe video animation edit Copy keyframes, edit, paste keyframes. Okay, that should be smooth, beautiful. Okay, I'll play it a bit more. Not too short, but we can adjust the timing later. I want to zoom to at least the left side picture, like so. So that should be okay. Um, that's good. What I do want to see is that side um, one go up, so I might just go back into that soon. Let's just close the video animation because I'm more or less happy with the timing. So I want to grab that. Let's go jump into the compound clip and the. I think it was that one. I want this timing to be much later in the clip, so let's go to view. Um, Show video animation again. I'm going to smudge this a bit, I think. Let's close this. I'm going to put the keyframe in. Let's move these keyframes to here and to here. And I'm going to move the whole thing down. Let me just see what it looks like. Yeah, that's okay. Right, so what we're going to do, exit this. I think we're at that mark anyway. Just move this over here. This is called Smudging 101. Put that over there so that it appears later. We don't see it at the beginning of the animation anyway, so let's go back and see what that looks like. Hello, Opa. Zoom out to the side. Oh, we're not quite right there. Game will smudge a little. Um, view video animations. I'm interested in this keyframe here and that one, that one there. Can you just delay this slightly? So, get down a bit. Maybe it'll work. Yeah, it's okay. It should yep there we go that's what I was after okay I think we're done um, I will uh, let's just give this a moment to catch up with the rendering uh, and then we can play it back in full screen here we go hopefully this works out well whistle a happy tune my china and you will feel better cool um, I'll leave it at that